I wonder what's in there.
A key made from the bone of some large beast. First time, huh? Too slow. 
Excellent. It's locked. Some gold. This should help. Is that the best you've got? Not this time. Come on. Excellent.
Unfortunately, I can't carry it all right now. This must be Archmage Boa's ring, referred to in Kithril's journal.
Brother. Hello, Cyrus. I need you to tend to my wounds again, brother. I must ask you to pay the temple tax, of course. Will you? Fine. Brother Niddle, I have bad news. I found Kithril's body in the caverns. He's dead. I'm sorry. The caverns? What could he have been doing there? I found his journal among the remains. You should read it. Oh, my. Poor lad. What did he hope to accomplish? Cyrus, I now count you as a friend. Kithral's fate is revealed, and I shall bring you into my confidence. Go on. The body of Prince Ator is here, at the temple. It is? Yes, it's the only safe place for it. We can't quite bury it. Why? There is a spell of stasis upon it, to preserve it and stave off its decay. Archmage Voa enchanted it thus, just after the prince's death. Archmage Voa is mentioned in the journal, and his magical ring, which both Kithril and my sister were looking for. Voa's ring was used to enchant the prince's body. So they would have used it? To dispel the body's stasis field. Why would they do that? That would only serve to send the body along to rot. Yes, you're right. It doesn't quite make sense, does it? It is Red God custom to preserve their great leaders in stasis so that they might be looked upon ever after in their prime. To break the stasis would be treason, or hubris even. Now, th there's something we're not getting yet. Both Izara and Kithril were crowns. Whatever they had planned for the prince would only have been for his benefit. I am sure you are right. Until later, Brother Niddle. Goodbye, my son. Oh, 
stranger. May your wisdom increase. Hello, Jeffer. Silas. Stros Mackay seems quiet, almost deserted. Has the Imperial occupation been so harsh? Tiber Septim has many clansmen of lesser repute than he. The city of the Red Guards suffers under one of the least of these. Provisional Governor Richton. I'd like to buy a book. These shelves hold wisdom and folly in equal measure. Chew. How much for Elven Artifacts, Volume 3? Ah, the hoary tale of the Flask of Lilandril piques your interest. I'll take it. Jifar is sure you will enjoy it. What do you know of this legendary flask? Legends surround it, but Jifer is sure the flask is real. Scribes of ancient Lelandril record its discovery. Yes, the flask is not of elfish make, despite what you may read. They found it, used it, and lost it. But its creator is unknown. What makes the flask so valuable? Here we have only legend to guide us. Stories tell of the High Wizard of Valenwood himself, defeated by a stable boy, armed only with the flask. Exaggeration, surely. But still a kernel of truth. An anti-magic device of no small power. It sounds like the flask may absorb magic. Perhaps. That would explain why no mage has ever been able to detect its location. Peace, Desert Walker. I must go.